Um, new rules on the women's side allowed us to start a little bit earlier this year, and uh, things are looking fantastic so far. Uh, again, we've got three returning starters <coughs> from our team last year, and looking for, for bigger and better things this year. Questions? Uh, Coach, last year, you know, clearly not a 11-19 first round exit from the tournament. How are you going to, you know, look bigger, bigger and better things this year? Well, we definitely have room for improvement when you, when you put it that way. I, you know, last year's last year. Uh, this year, you know, I've got another year under my belt, which I think is important. Uh, the group that we have coming in this year, a uh, very veteran group, I would say, and plus some good um, incoming freshmen that have come in to join our program, and I think we'll, we'll contribute right away. And I just think there's a there's a different focus uh, with our returners this year. You know, when talking with them at the beginning of the year, you know, they're ready for this program to do some to do better things than what we've done the last couple of years. And uh, especially our junior group and our Jackie Ward, our lone senior. Uh, you know, I just think experience just accounts for so much, and uh, you know, we have that this year. And with Erica Carter graduated, you lost some scoring, some outside shooting. Uh, who and how do you expect to mix some of that up? You know, really, I think our scoring is going to be a lot more balanced this year. And within our guards, our guard play is very strong this year. Um, and our post play, you know, with the return of Eva Rabain, who I think is going to step her level up and, and probably do a little more scoring for us. And uh, we've got, you know, in, in the wings, uh, Sinead O'Reilly, Emma Cronk, uh, Simone Thomas, um, Kara Ellison, who didn't see a lot of playing time last year at the guard spot is going to be doing a little rotating time at the forward and the guard spot. So, you know, I think we're a lot deeper this year. You know, depending on the team that we're playing, I think, you know, we can, we can put in some different players, you know, to cover all areas, depending on the defense on the inside or, or offense on the inside. What are the uh, strengths of this team going into this season? In the beginning, I would say our guard play. You know, obviously with the return of Andrea Holmes, Jackson Ward, um, Orlo O'Reilly, who saw some playing time last year, had some very good games last year and see her, in the, you know, getting into the lineup early, uh, as well as we've got a young freshman guard um, by the name of Jazz Swain, who I think is going to be a pleasant surprise for everybody this year. Coach, you tell me a little about your uh, new non-conference schedule this year. I know that's always a big focus, um, coming into the conference game, getting yourself ready for, for the conference play. So what's the, how do you feel about the non-conference like this year? Non-conference, I feel very good. We've got a good combination of teams that are going to challenge us as we open up the St. Bonaventure right away. Um, who's very good in the A-10. And with some games that, that are definitely winnable, I think last year at one point in time, um, we had the 22nd <laughs> toughest schedule in the nation, which, um, you know, I, I've toned it down a little bit this year. It is some games that, you know, hopefully early on will give us some confidence, games that we can win. But again, games still that can challenge us. So we head out to Northern Arizona for a tournament this year. Um, you know, so that'll be a, you know, a, a, a nice thing for our players. Part of the country as well as some good competition. Um, Drake is going to be playing out there, who's always been very strong. Uh, Central Michigan and Northern Arizona, um, both very good programs as well. At the end of last year, were there certain areas that you looked at and reviewed the season and said, okay, next year we have to be better at you know, X, Y, and Z? Um, were there certain areas that you looked in the office and said, okay, we have to address this and how do we address it? Uh, really, the big thing from last year to this year is our post play. Uh, you know, last year we tried to do some different things, um, not really having a low post presence, you know, playing more of an, an outside perimeter game. And, you know, this year our focus is definitely on an inside-outside game. We have to have both in order to be successful. If you look at all the teams in the American East, um, every team, you know, that does extremely well, you know, the Bostons, the Hartfords, the Vermonts, had inside play. And, and that's, you know, that's been a, a focus for us early on in developing that and, you know, having that in good combination with our guard play. The program seems to be making strides every year. What's what's the end goal for you guys, uh, goal-wise, towards the end of the season? Well, I think I've said this the last two years. Is it, it's not good enough anymore for just for us just to make it to and be in the quarterfinals, get into the semifinals. You know, for in order for this program to move forward, you know, we need to experience success early on, continue that through conference play, and then play well going into the American East tournament. And you know, at some point in time, this program needs to get into the finals. Are there still unknowns about this team that worries you? That since you haven't really played anyone just yet? No, not really. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I, I'm I'm much more relaxed this year than I was last year. Uh, you know, I don't know if that's because we have more experience this year. Um, we've got a great group of players. I'm really enjoying coaching right now at this point in time. I know it's early on. We're undefeated right now, which is a good thing going in. Um, but you know, th this group has has come in with just a, a different mentality and a different energy, and it really makes coaching a lot.
lot of fun and, and has made coaching a lot easier this year. You mentioned a couple of times about the different focus on the this year. Are there certain examples of things that uh, like you've seen that make you think this year they're coming in with a different sort of uh, attitude or are there specific examples that you met instances you can remember? You know, really, it's just been about, um, you know, having individual meetings with players and just talking with players on the side, you know, having a conversation with Andrea Holmes and, you know, her telling me that, you know, the coach, this is, this is the year, Viva Rabain, same thing, Orlo O'Reilly, the same thing, you know, they're all just have that mentality, Jackie Ward, that this is the year, you know, this is the year that our, our team is, is going to do something special. Going on that same line of thinking, have you noticed any differences? You said you've been practicing for, for a little bit now. Have you seen any differences as far as the team dynamic about the the way the team is driven or the way the team is, is working together as opposed to last year, coming in with that new focus? Has that had a, an effect on the way that they look on the court? You know, I think this year, just seeing our group early on, it really is, they're all about the team. I have not seen that one individual player just kind of, you know, go off on their own. I really think they are focused as a group, which is, you know, any successful team that you see, they're they're both good on the floor and off the floor. And I, I think this team by far, within the last two years, is really developing into a true team. And you know, when an individual person is greater than, than what this team is all about. And as long as they can continue on with that mentality, uh, you know, I think they're going to be successful with whatever they do. It's a veteran team. Uh, you mentioned that there are a couple freshmen that you think will be immediate contributors. You mentioned one guard already. Anybody else? We haven't seen them yet, that we should keep our eyes out for. Uh, again, um, I would say Kara Ellison and Orlo O'Reilly both have done very well in practice so far and have a, have a different mentality. Uh, again, Kara last year um, we had her primarily practicing and playing at the, the guard spot. This year we transitioned her a little more into the, the forward position, which coming out of high school, that's really what she was used to doing. So. Um, you can see definitely a, a little more confidence in her play, and, and Orla, Orla has a, a, a ton of experience um, internationally, and now coming over to here, I think she really understands what, you know, what we're all about, the defensive focus that she has to have. Uh, her offensive ability has always been there, her passing has always been there, and now the defense has, has picked up as well, so I think she's another one who you know, we're going to be pleasantly surprised with this year. What are the biggest adjustments defensively that Orla has had to make? Is it moving from different schemes to playing more man? Is it a different style of play in Europe than, there, than you play here? Um, a little bit of both. I think just playing within a system. Um, our system this year is, is um, focused, focused a little different this year on the defensive side of it. You know, but I just think um, you know, just the, the hustle piece of it, the, the going after the loose basketballs all the time and not just you know, here and there, and you know, just more so, just playing within a system. I would say. Is there any player, uh, uh, maybe a couple of players, who early on have impressed you as far as the strides they've made since the end of last season to the end of the practice so far? Kara Ellison definitely would be would be one of them, and I would say, uh, you know, Andrea and Viva as returners, I think, have definitely come in with a a different attitude, um, a more confident <laughs> attitude. Um, and really, I think are going to take this team on their shoulders and, and you know and do something special with it. Um, a specific question about the offense. I know last year, obviously, the loss of, of Erica Carter. It wasn't so much the points per game that got it, but just the fact that she was a, a threat from beyond the arc. And having a threat beyond the arc on the team just opens up the floor so much more for everybody else. So, do you see early on anybody else that can be that kind of a threat around the arc, or is it going to be more of a so I mean, like an Erica Carter is, is a very special player, as everybody saw last year, just from her shooting ability. There were games that just amazed me. Um, but I think this year you'll see more balance from our guards. Andrea Holmes, Jackie Ward, um, Orla O'Reilly, Jazz Swain, they all can shoot the three. I think Jackie Ward you'll probably see is one of our more consistent three-point shooters this year. Uh, but I just would say we, we're much more balanced this year. Um, you know, so not relying so heavily on Erica to have to have that point production in a single game. Further questions? Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.